welcome to my channel if you are new here hello you are spiritually connected with katiba that's for sure okay look this envious feminine has realized that going against you was a huge no-no now to call them a feminine <laughs> it seems a little contradicting because they're a very masculine person okay they, they, they're pretty masculine in their ways but we're just going to call them a feminine because nine times out of ten this is a feminine presenting um person nine times out of ten this is a, a woman okay this feminine they're not divine okay <laughs> they're just uh, feminine and they're karmic they're very karmic okay they got some karmic debts they got some karmic ways about them and they have realized that going against you was a huge no-no they have realized that they have messed with and they have stepped to the wrong one they didn't know <laughs> they didn't know that you was a chosen one they didn't know that you was divinely protected they didn't know that when it comes to you, that they were going to reap what they have sown. They didn't know that karma was going to come back and bite them in the butt. They didn't know. They couldn't have known. Otherwise, they probably would have moved a little different when it came to you. Otherwise, they probably would have found someone else to pull those things off that they had got off with you. Like, but trust me. It didn't, it didn't go far. Like, you didn't have to do anything. You didn't have to get your get back. Quite honestly, you didn't feel like you needed to get a get back. That's on them. Getting the get back was only going, like, it wasn't going to do nothing good for you. You knew that God was going to handle them. You knew that. <laughs> and now they are realizing that messing with you was a huge no-no. They've done a, a lot, okay? They've done the unthinkable. They've done more than what you even known them to be capable of. They did a 360, okay? When you met them versus who they are now, they are someone totally different because you got to see them for who they really are. You got to see them for their spirit. You got to see them from who they are within and it's not a pretty person it's not a pretty person their actions speak louder than the words that they have spoken the moment that they could not have their way the moment that they feel like they had lost control they hit you with a 360 okay at that point you were like dead to them you were nothing to them and they showed their butt. And they did everything in their power to tarnish you. They did everything in their power to get people to not to like you. They lied on you. Like, they've lied about the situation. They over-exaggerated it to make you out to be the bad guy. They made you out to be the bad guy. But all of the lies and deceits, Oh, trust me, they paid for theirs. They have paid for theirs dearly and they are continuing to pay for it. You don't see everything. You don't see what's going on in their day-to-day. -day. You don't see what's going in, on within their life and their relationships, within their finances, within their well-being. This is why they don't feel good to begin with because they only are receiving what they have to give and what they're putting out is negative energy. They've been putting out this negative energy for the longest and for the longest you were blind to it. For the longest you didn't see it. Just like other people, you didn't see it. But now you see the situation for what it is. You see them for who they truly are. And now it all makes sense why they move that way with you. Because they had been moving that way with others. You didn't see it. You didn't recognize all of the times that they were talking about others, smiling in their face, but talking behind their back. You didn't even realize it. Like, 
it didn't really go in your conscious mind. But now you see them exact for exactly who they are. They're ugly, okay? They're ugly. Ugly being. Ugly. I don't care how they look on the outside. They're ugly. Gosh. Like, to the point where you don't even want to be around them. Why would they go there? Why would they do that? <laughs> they got satisfaction out of being that person. And they continue to get satisfaction out of it. If there's no chaos, if there's no confusion, if it's not chaotic, it's not for them. And you're the total opposite. You're not with all of that. You don't want the drama. <laughs> you leave that where it's at. You leave that to who it's for. And clearly it's for them. They cause a lot of drama. A lot of unnecessary drama. They did that. They went there with you. And now they're recognizing that messing with you <laughs> was a huge no-no. They didn't know that you was divinely protected. They did not know that you got beings out here that don't play about you. That will go to war for you, okay? That will have your back even when you ain't got your back. Or even when you don't want to put in the energy to deal with it. You've gotten to the point where you just don't even want to deal with them. Because of what they've done. What they've done, they can't take it back. But trust and believe, they are paying for theirs. They have they sown the they they have sold them seeds, and they thought that some beautiful flower was gonna blossom from it. Nope, it's a bunch of weeds that's tangled up, and now that same chaos that they were trying to bring upon your life, that they attempted to like bring into your life in your energy field, is happening for them in that exact way. Everything that they wanted for you is happening to them. It's happening to them. That's how much energy they put into it. They manifested it into their own reality. Jokes on them. They played the game wrong. They had the game bent twisted, okay? They thought that they could play with you. They didn't know that you was chosen. They did not know your connection to the source. They did not know. They did not know that you had one. They thought that they can get that stuff off on you like they got it off on others. And yes, they have gotten some things off on you. Yes, they did. Yes, some of their lies worked. Absolutely. But trust and believe, karma came back to bite them right in the butt, okay? And it may not look in the same way and the same things that they did to you. It's showing up in other ways. Look at them. Look how they, like, their well-being is declining. Look at their skin. <laughs> look at their skin. Like, look how, like, look at, like, it, it, stuff is falling apart for them, okay? One by one, little by little. Because of who they are. Because of how they try to play with you. Because of how they try to bring you down. They wanted to see you in the slums so bad. They wanted to see you hurt. Intentionally, they tried to hurt you. Because they couldn't get their way. Because you aren't who they want you to be. Because you have leveled up. Because you want something different. Because you want better for yourself. And you didn't consider them when you made that decision. This karmic feminine has realized that messing with you <laughs> was a huge no-no. They're scared now. They're scared to do anything else. This is why they've been quiet for a little while. They thought that they were strategic before. Now they're really trying to be strategic before they step to you again. <clears throat> but somebody better tell them, like, they step to you again, it ain't going to be no easier. 
And it's not to say that you're going to be, that you're going to handle the situation any better, okay? Because you've had your last straw with them. <laughs> right now, you're not paying them no mind. But who knows what's coming for them if they step to you again? Who knows what's come, coming with them if they try to play with you again? God don't play about you. God do not play about you. Somebody better let them know. <laughs> Somebody best to let them know. They on the wrong team, which you don't want them on your team anyway. They already they already showed their hand. That ain't the one you want to play with. That ain't the one you want to even conversate with, okay? But they're realizing now that stepping to you was a huge no-no. So they're going to think twice before they think to step to you again. Right now what they're doing, they're out there playing with someone else because they have realized that messing with you was a huge no-no. So if this video resonates, if it hit different, let me know how so. If you are new here, I do invite you to hit that subscribe button. And I also invite all of you all to become a member on this channel because we're lit over on the membership side, okay? <laughs> if you don't, got your $300 from Chase. Um, what are you waiting for? No better time than now. Wow. We all spend a little extra money, okay, on ourselves and on others. $300 from Chase. You can sign up on 100% online. This is uh, for U.S. citizens or US people who live in the U.S. And I do believe that if you're in the U.K., you can get Chase as well. Let me know if y'all have Chase Bank. But anywho, and then you got $100 from uh, Chime, my favorite banking account, okay? It's a mobile banking app. If you haven't heard about them, look, they're awesome. So click the link down in my description box to get your money, okay, and to learn more. You must follow the prompts, okay? Very simple process, okay? People have already gotten their money like this. So click the link down in my description. That's all I have for this video. Stay spiritually used. Stay spiritually in tune. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace.